Mete me, it's content. My name is Go See Africa. The day just started, and I received a call from one of my biggest friends and a Maasai warrior, Kitasho Olemada. He was like, Go See Africa, come out. We need to go interact with the Maasai people. Yeah, these people are slaughtering a god, and I want to show you the African way of life. Then I was like, Kitasho. Do you know that I am a Pan-African? Do you know that I am go see Africa? I know. You are black Jew. But do you know that I've been living here in these streets? I have interacted with the people of Rift Valley. We are somewhere uh, in my Mayu. Yeah, I know. Black Jew. It's so common in the sides of Kibera, so common in New York, so common uh, in the side of Ngo. But are you aware that I grew up in Africa? We cannot ignore this. So, as up, I'm calling Shabi from the Black Geo, and uh, probably we need to use his account. We're going to spend on his bills. Yeah. Is on out loud. So we're waiting for him to re respond. Bro! Hey, you saw the message that the right? Yeah, I, I, I just uh, received a call from my friend uh, Kitasho Laimada that we are expected to be interacting with the Maasai people. Yeah. So I'm leaving the house as up to go interact with them, we slaughtering a god. Then um, today I'm spending on your account, the Black G account. Yes, yes. Yeah, sure. So give us, your, give us your blessings. Hey, bro, we are real business, my brother. So the money is always gonna be there for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So don't worry about that. Thank but you. Let me cut you short a bit. So our head producer just confirmed that um, we need. Uh, that's our executive producer Shabi from the Black Geo. So he just confirmed that we need um, to leave S up and interact with the people. Meanwhile, I'm going to be uh, talking with them more as I head to the sides of Suso. My name is Go See Africa. We slaughtering a goat with the Maasai community. It's clear. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time you're watching my vlogs, my name is Gossi Africa and I'm coming live from the size of the Great Rift Valley. Yeah, we have the Great Rift Valley in Kenya. So, we're having a stroll here with my friend uh, yeah, Juma. Yeah, so we did a video about it at in Tobago and it's doing so well. Uh, we're loving how you're receiving us. We're loving how you're loving our discussion. So, we're still going to be talking more about Trinidad and Tobago. TNT. I watched videos about the carnival. <laughs> Trinidad dance almost half naked. Unlike in Africa, whereby you have to be very decent. I'm not saying you're not decent, but you have to be fully dressed. Yeah, you don't uh, just dress the way you want and walk to the streets. Yeah, people will uh, disown you. So, meanwhile, we're walking in these uh, streets. The Maasai community, yeah, it's the common, uh, they are so much common here. And I don't think we have, yeah, we have the Maasai and the Kikuyu, but the Maasai are the majority, the majority here. Yeah, I'm here to go interact with the Maasai and get to learn more about them. I told you I need to know if someone wanted to marry a Maasai girl, what, are the, what is the requirement? <laughs> someone wanted to marry a Maasai girl, what is the requirement? Yeah, I get this question so often uh, from my Caribbean uh, followers. I want to marry from, marry from Africa. What is the requirement? How do we pay the dowry? 
So I'll be getting that answer from the horse's mouth. Yeah, you loving how the, the, the environment looks like, the green environment. Yeah, basically we are the villages. We are no longer the city. So we are having demonstrations at the city. The Gen Z's are fighting for our rights, <laughs> for our country. Don't ask me why I never got uh, to the city and uh, participate in the dem demonstrations. Yeah, I don't have to be there physically. I mean, I'm a media person, so I can always do this online. Doing this. By the way, I'm liking how the Gen Z's are, do uh, are doing it. And we have platforms whereby I can contribute something to support their activism. Yeah, whoever is going to the street, can always participate. I don't have to be there physically. You can always uh, participate through my pocket. So I'm doing, I'm, 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 I'm doing my, acti my activism that way. Look at that place. Some Napier grass. You have some natural sounds from the birds. Listen. Can you hear them? Amazing. Ah, these are the birds. Let me show one. Yeah. These are the birds. The birds I'm talking about. So we're trying to get some information before we proceed. Uh, this used to, try to be a construction camp by the Chinese community. They already closed the camp. They went to a different location. Yeah. bro. Yeah. This this guy is saying hi to you. Hi. Yeah. Tell tell them your name. I'm um, John. You are John. Yeah. John. Uh, these guys are asking with um, someone from different community, probably someone from a different country. Are they allowed <coughs> to marry from the Maasai community? You are Maasai, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are they allowed to marry a Maasai girl? Yeah. yeah in fact, yeah. nowadays you can marry. You can. They can marry. Yeah. So, what are the requirements uh, for one to marry a Maasai girl? I think. For a non-Kenyan, probably. Uh, he'll give. He'll give us. Yes. Like fifty cows. Fifty cows. Yeah. Then fifty cows only. Yeah. Then you get a a, a woman for yourself. Uh, she, a wife. She choose a wife for himself. Oh. Yeah, and take him. Oh. Yeah. Probably tell us something maybe we don't know about the Maasai community. Us as Maasai, mm -hmm. we 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 like or we we usually like. Mm -hmm. We have many cattles, many animals. Exactly, they raise many so many animals. Many cows. You can find this guy having over uh, hundred cows. Yeah, over hundred cows. Yeah. For example, what do you have? How many? How, how many do you have? Almost hundred. Almost hundred. Yeah. You as alone. And me, I personally. No, I got almost hundred cows. Mm -hmm. But if you, we, we don't deal with money on account, we deal with <laughs> animals. Listen. They don't deal with money, yeah. so they just uh, they deal with cows. yeah they deal with cows. Yeah. Even cows are the, our account. I I met some someone uh, I I met I met someone during the dry season, mm -hmm. yeah the, the the cows were growing thinner yeah. they were not eating well. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, why don't you sell these cows? Then you buy a fresh when uh, when it rains. Yeah. Yeah, like we don't we don't don't sell our cows. Uh, no, we don't sell. We don't risk. <laughs> that is risking. Yeah, that's risking. Yeah. Wow. We don't sell. Mm -hmm. Even if they, they better they better die. They better die. Yeah. You don't sell. We don't sell. Uh -huh. yeah. Some someone still wanted to know. We were talking about why is it that uh, who builds your houses in the Kumasi community? The ladies or men? Men. Men build houses. Yeah. Oh. Someone uh, told no, no, me no. ladies no, build. Ladies, ladies. Ladies build the houses. Ladies. Yeah. Why is it so? A man should always build the house and protect the the family as we my man protects the family mm. but ladies build the house build the houses yeah. so well then hey you do have sour hi okay. Okay. so thank you for your time bro okay ah nikitaka kutafuta naweza kutafuta tuongee ongee sio ah good tunipe number yako
so my, I'm asking for his number. Let me. Uh huh. Um, put it. So I'm picking his number. Madam, Sasa, say my hi. The camera. Hi. So, you guys told me you work hard. Yeah. Ladies work hard. Yeah. <laughs> so, I must say, uh, some beautiful ladies. But they, I think I have a problem. I like appreciating our ladies. That's a problem. Is it a disorder? Oh, that's how a man should be. But they feel it's always good to appreciate women. So that's the Chinese camp I was talking about. Yeah. Uh, transportation in the, in the grace, the world, the builders, something. Yeah, that's the camp. So that guy gave me some amazing content. Kenya is divided into 43, 43 tribes. Juma, Kenya is divided into 43 tribes, right? 44. Yeah. yeah, 44. So the Maasai community is one of the tribes. So these guys are pastoralists. They live in the bushes. Yeah, they entirely depend on uh, livestock keeping. They don't do farm produce. Yeah. They build permanent, uh, semi-permanent houses. And if I call them temporary houses using the cow duck, I expect to visit some of those uh, houses and get to uh, to experience their feel. How do they live there? So the guy just confirmed that uh, uh, their houses are built by women. Their women are so. Their women are so strong. Uh -huh. Wow. 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 Women stay at home, and that's why they the one responsible for building houses. Yeah, I know, I know. Men are always out there. But uh -huh. something funny you didn't know is that um, once you're married, it's allowed for you to share your woman with. The community what do i mean yeah it's allowed for a maasai woman to be shared by men in that community so once you come to your house and you you find someone having erected a, a sword outside your house yeah that means someone <laughs> someone uh, is attending to your wife so just go out do your thing until that man leaves your house. It's a house, we know. We're not taking away your woman. But for that given moment, someone else is doing something. <laughs> you can't complain anywhere. You can't complain to the man. Yeah? In fact, you still maintain your friendship with that man. How about that? This is Kenya. This is Kenya. Yeah, this kind of a community is only found in East Africa. Um, Kenya and Tanzania. Amazing. So someone is keeping some goats. Those are goats. Yeah. So this is a marketplace. This is a marketplace. And that's how it looks like looks so decided so it grew as a result of this Chinese camp which is still uh, existing you can see so we had two camps here the first one and this one this one is still active CRBC China roads and uh, bridge uh, bridge corporation yeah China roads and bridge corporation yeah you go, you go, go. The market is there, the shops. So that's how the market looks like. Probably we need to come and buy some chicken. I've seen, seen some chicken here. Then slaughter. Ask them to slaughter for us. We need to come, Juma. 
we need very soon need to come and ask these guys to slaughter chicken for us goodbye we will do that then probably we show you on our videos yeah kenya 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 is so diverse so the life I usually show from the city is so much different from what you experience from this point. Damn. 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 There's some goats here. Some goats. Yeah. Good life. Life. But these guys are so much comfortable with the life they're living here. Very much comfortable. So if you thought maybe these guys are struggling, to them, they are only used to this life. They have never. Some of them have never been to the city, so they don't know whether we have a different kind of life, which maybe people live. They don't know. They're living their best life. So we made friends from this Maasai community. So we are looking for beef and uh, it's going to be slaughtered. So we're going to pick it right, um, right away. This is the butchery. This is the butchery. Yeah. I'm loving this. Yeah. But they, he can say hi to you. One be hi. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to tell him that you wanted, you guys wanted to marry a Masai girl, so he will tell me the requirements. What requirements? <laughs> Mali. Mali ngapi? Mali mea. Mali mea. Yeah, Yo ni ngombe. Ngombe. So, uh, this Maasai man is telling us if you want to marry a Maasai girl, come with 100 cows. Yeah. <laughs> this community has managed to um, maintain its culture and practices. So, just look at the dress code. That's how they dress. So this guy it looks more modern. Others don't wear trousers. You only wear that. Uh, the thing is uh, on his neck. Yeah, that clothing you just tie on your waist, and it becomes the, a full dress for you. So they don't wear to dress in any trousers. They don't wear pants. So you see how the the difference between uh, where you watching me from and this part of Kenya. Damn. A few moments later. So we're slaughtering the goats. They were eating meat. The Maasai community at times used to drink uh, this raw, raw blood. Not even, I think they don't. They take raw blood. Not that they don't. But it's, it's taking so. They're doing it so fast. These guys are professionals. So I used to slaughter the way these guys are I'm doing it. So though they are doing it a bit different. For me, I used to hang on the tree, then I started moving the skin from that point. For them, they lie, they lie it on the ground and start the work, the process. So I have to remove that skin. How do you call it? Skinning? Yeah, skinning. This is Africa. Go see Africa. 
Big up to Black Jew. Big up to the Swan Queen. So we are the village and the process is not that much complicated. You don't need to take it to a class butcher. So here we just uh, lay it down, we slaughter, then you be cutting and selling to people around. Yeah. Good life. The difference between the, what you guys do in the capital city, probably in Nairobi or in other, uh, in other places of this country, and what these guys are doing, how they slaughter, what the difference? Well, this is a way of play. Mm. So you slaughter the, the same way these guys are doing it? I've never seen it being slaughtered. <laughs> You've never seen it? Yeah. Yeah, for us, by the way, we used to hang the way they just did. That's how I'm used to doing it. <laughs> so that guy is requesting for the ball. <laughs> <laughs> for us, we turn in the head probably to enlarge our brains to think better. Uh, tell me something, maybe I need to learn about the Maasai community that maybe we don't know out there, or maybe someone outside this country can be. We need to know about this community. Oh, the Maasai is a uh, good people. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They deal on tradition. Yeah, tradition. Ah, ah. By tradition, we mean culture. Yeah, the culture. Yeah, they still maintain it. They, they still maintain culture, the, the first culture. The culture yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially, they used to live in. Uh, especially, you know, telling me they, about the Masai Mara. Have you ever go to Masai Mara? Masai Mara National Park. National Park. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Where you find the Masai? Uh huh. Uh, they believe in the Yaku community. Mm -hmm. and they are very good mm -hmm. and uh, they don't have a lot of uh, they they have respect oh they have respect they, yeah, they yeah have but they have respect. been interacting yeah, yeah. with the Maasai community yeah. and these guys are so much respectful yeah. yesterday i had an injury yeah. yeah then some guys at the bushes came to help me he got me some medicine okay. some herbal medicine yeah. <laughs> uh, we used to take those medicine because uh they 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 are very they are, they are very nice on uh, very health, natural oh, yeah. without the chemicals natural, yeah it's a natural chemical mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it, it doesn't affect uh, our, our body uh -huh. yeah I, I like that I like that mm. For, uh, uh, I know in a Maasai man, how many kettles are you supposed to to have in your homestead? It depends on how wives you have. The more you have wives, the more you have milk cattle. Oh, so the many you the, the many you have the cows, the many you have the mice, the wives. The wives. Yeah. So a person with hundred hundred cows will have Maybe like how many wives? Like even ten wives. Ten wives. Yeah. So I need to. And one, 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 one wife maybe twelve children. Can I? Oh. They don't. They, one they, wife they, with twelve children. Yeah. Children. They don't have. They, they don't have uh, family planning. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah, don't yeah, like yeah, family yeah. planning because we, it is a small community mm -hmm. and we, that's why we need more people, more children mm -hmm. to enlarge our. If you have many cows, it is very yeah. easy to get a wife because everybody want to give you a wife because, oh, because you, you are rich. Yeah, you are you rich. <laughs> <laughs> I need to become rich to yeah. marry Marseille ladies. Mm. <laughs> so the more you have, for, uh, the more you have more cattle, the more you get more wives because wow. everybody want to give you a wife. Wow, yeah. the language seems more complicated. Mm. Very complicated because what you guys are talking, I only understand Gisho. Gisho. Oh, <laughs> these are the cows. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, someone told me houses in Masai communities they are built by women. That's true. The houses. Houses. Yeah. Because they are, the, the women they don't have a lot of work. It is the men to look the cattle. Oh. Yeah. And the wives they stay at the home, that's why they build the houses. Oh. Yeah. That's to make so them different. busy. That's oh, to make them busy. Yeah. Then something, something, uh, some, someone else told me is that uh, today I have my how do you call this mukuki? Uh, the, you call it spear. Spear. Yeah. Yeah, I have a spear. Uh, you are allowed to come to my homestead. You place the spear at the door, then you are free to attend to my wife. Because you are of the same age. Oh, age mate. Yeah. So you are my age mate. I come to your house, 
I place my spear on your doorstep and I attend to your wife and no one complains about it. You can't complain about it and it's allowed. It is allowed. So long as you are my age mate. Yeah, you are age and that's why we married many wives. So if you come with a spear, you stay in this house. I go to another house. Oh. Yeah, that is why the reason why we married oh. many wives. Huh? Damn. <laughs> Damn. Then we, I, I need to be a master. <laughs> So you need to buy more cows. Yeah. 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 Do you have a, do you have a season whereby you guys have celebrations I can, and I can just come and celebrate with you? Especially we have celebration in time where if you are you are you want to get married. You are yeah you have to have celebration because you are bringing another new wife. In time in time again of circumcision, mm -hmm. you have to have a celebration damn. because you are welcoming another age. Damn. Yeah. Damn, damn, damn. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. That's a so good one. Understand about it. That's why I'm, I'm telling you, I must say, you're good people. Yeah, they are because good they people. They still maintain their traditions. So whenever you have celebrations, and you see, uh, we're slaughtering the cows. You guys can invite many people, like myself, yeah. to come and celebrate with you. We, we can. I can slaughter five cows. Maybe two. Or five yeah. cows. Maybe you come. Get so meet, meet are very many. Damn. Why are you not coming to Kenya? You guys should come to Kenya. Whoever is watching from Kenya, probably you should uh, consider visiting the Maasai community. Just look up there. We know where the Maasai, Maasai people are, from, uh, are located. For us, we are in. Um, we are in. Uh, how do you call this place? You are in. Uh, my Mayu. Yeah, my Mayu. Um, in the Great Rift Valley. The Great Rift Valley. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow, wow. Maybe a telegram welcome to Kenya. He can even go and sleep. I will provide him to sleep in a house which are made from uh, the cow. The cow, cow dog. The cow dog, yeah. <laughs> you don't build one, really. You don't build one. Oh, I'm trying to show you how we slaughter our goat. So we do it. Yeah, from the bushes. Look around. These are uh, bushes. Yeah. See how they are? Then we have some cows from that side. I love this. I love this. But then you never told them your name. From which country? Oh. You um, never told them. Yeah, yeah. Name. My name is Jackson. Hmm. Jackson. Yeah. The Maasai name? Yeah, Maasai. The, the Maasai name, we call Le Mayan. Le Mayan. Yeah. Le Mayan is a blessed man. Blessing. Yeah, yeah blessing, I yeah. No, blame my hand. Uh, I think. Uh, I think it means something it brave. Be, not, not, not brave. Not brave. Yeah, no. The Mayan is somebody who is the Mayan is somebody who have a lot of blessings. Blessings. Yeah, yeah I saw a movie by the name. Let me be like you are Lenjani. Lenjani. Let me be like you are Lenjani. 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 Let me be like you are Lenjani. Naka Masai, you go Kajado. Oh, Kajado. He's Lenjani from Kajado. Kajado. He's not educated. That's you don't know how to speak English. English. Yeah, but but he can talk good. Swahili. The guy is so cheerful, very happy, very welcoming. I love this. Uh, we use uh, to sleep on uh, cow skin. Oh, you used to sleep on cow skin? Yeah, yes, cow before. Skin, yeah. Even now, some people will sleep. Oh, that's why. It's so it, it never changed. Yeah, we we slaughter a cow. We made that skin. Mm -hmm. sleep on it. We don't have a mattress. Mm -hmm. My Maasai friend here wanna marry a, a white girl. <laughs> yeah, we do, we, we do better really. Exchange of goods and goods, not yeah. not goods and services. No, uh, not goods and human goods, and, bro. Human being and human being. A personal, a hey, person a a human person. Man. yeah, exactly. Yeah, they marry a master hey, girl. I give, I give my sister. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. For them, for them to give. Uh, oh, exchange. you, you yeah. give them your sister. Then they give, they give, they give them. They give me their sister. Their sister. Yeah. Wow. Excellent. So whoever is is yeah is watching this, <laughs> you watching from a different country. Yeah, <laughs> let me know. Let, let me know. I have, I have his contact. Okay. So you, okay. yeah, we 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 need. But they, did you say your name? Yeah, I'm John. John, yeah. you must say name, bro. Let's see. Let's see. So maybe a white girl is watching. Okay. Address the white girl. Tell her something. Uh, I, I want to marry her, mm -hmm. and I want to love a white girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I, I, the, the thing I don't know whether she is <laughs> capable of looking after. Mm -hmm. Oh, so yeah. if you married a white girl, she must look after you are keto. She must have to take the responsibilities of our culture. Oh. Looking after. 
So you are not ready to move to a country or something? Unless mm. but for now she has to know how to look after the kettle. No, yeah. <laughs> are you going to take care of her? Yeah, I will. I will take I'll take care of her. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So are you watching from another country? We have a master to take care of you. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. I'm going to leave his contact there. Reach out to him. Okay. Yeah. I'll be very happy. Yeah. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, we are still slaughtering our I'm trying to separate the um, <laughs> intestines. So we're trying to clean them. Le Mayan and uh, Lejani, Le they are doing it so well. <laughs> I think, Welcome to Kenya, yeah. we give you some mix. Yeah. I, I don't know whether Lesile knows how to do it. <laughs> you know it? Yeah. Wow, amazing. <laughs> so, I've been out there interacting with the Maasai people and building a community. Now I have the contracts. So whatever you just saw, that's the beginning of the entire exercise. Good things are to come. So kindly subscribe and share the link with your friends. Advise your friends to subscribe. Advise your friends. We are here to make a difference. So that one thing you expect to see about Kenya and in, gen in general, Africa, and uh, probably you have never thought you will ever see it. We are about to showcase. My name is Go See Africa. Go ahead and subscribe. Goodbye.